Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to Miss Pac-Man Maze Madness. Today, we are heading on to our third world of the game, Pac-Ping Hob, which is located far off the coast of Pac-Land. What do you have to say about this, Professor Pac? Did you make sure to bring a passport? Well, you're doing much better than I thought. <laughs> the <laughs> gem of wisdom lies somewhere in Pac-Ping Hob. <laughs> I just love that whole, like, you're doing better than I thought. I thought you would have died in the first level. For me, what I'm loving is the fact that... So, so the, the part that's making me laugh, which probably is a good or a bad reason, depending on how you look at it. Dude. Ow, ow. Yeah, that was a, I really should have. I really should have hit the, the soonest I could. But because yeah, you know, these these uh these dragons run quick. But yeah, the thing that I just couldn't get out of my head was. Uh, so it's probably good. Oh. It's actually a funny thing that we're actually doing this level right in the middle of a festival. Oh my! This odd device below is a rotating gate. What does Enter it, it, then press the controller in the direction you want to exit, then press again. Okay. Gate shields you on the three sides from ghosts and other enemies. I tried to invent a four-sided gate, but I couldn't figure out how to get into it. Da da da. Hmm. I mean, yeah. Why would you? I mean, you'd practically trap yourself if you'd even get inside. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> Fair. Uh, if, by four sided, for some reason, I thought it was gonna be a, a gate. For some reason, I envisioned it was like a freaking. Um, what, what did I actually think? You know, it was. I was thinking of like, whoa, what if all exits were? O what if all sides were openings? Well, then it wouldn't even be a gate at all. Yeah, it's practically be nothing. That is true. Um, but no, sorry. What was making me laugh earlier was the fact that like. Every area we've been to has had these, like, very elaborate, like, very nice, very, like, detailed explanations. But then you get to Pac Ping Harbor, and all I can think of is the localizers going, Don't say anything racist, don't say anything racist, don't say anything bad, just just, just, just introduce the thing and leave. Professor Pac, just introduce the level and leave. That's it, don't say anything else. Are you sure? Because I have at least four different things I could say about it. Don't. It is funny thinking about it, though, because all things considered, Pac Ping Harbor is actually probably one of the least offensive, like, Chinese stereotypes you'll ever come across in a video game of this era. I mean, apart from the dragon, which, again, yeah, as you described, it was just, it's just because it's a festival and pesky seagulls. Yeah, I mean, that's really all there is, too. Like, there's, again, treat this like, it's it's treating itself like you're in the middle of the Chinese New Year. That's fair. And, oh. uh, yeah. <laughs> that's a... <laughs> Jeez. That's exa exactly the wrong thing you should be doing in the middle of a Chinese New Year festival. I guess that makes I, I guess in hindsight that does make sense that these fire sparklers would... That that would be enough to detonate a, uh, a, a piece of TNT. I wasn't even sure what those were, like, meant to be. Yeah, it looks like they're fire sparklers on the ground. Oops. Well, no, that's fair. Well, actually, uh, no, I, I, you know, no, no. This is on purpose, because I have to do it this way. Yeah, that way you can reach that, and then you can even reach that other TNT for a fruit. Yay, for a little strawberry. That sounds Which we good. Will wait. But yeah, no, uh, next to Cleopatra, I do think uh, Pac Ping Harbor has some of the better songs in the game. I'm looking forward to that. Well, day. then again, I mean, I can't think of too many, too many, if any, real duds in this Pac Man Maze Madness's uh, soundtrack. They're all bangers. I think it is a very, I think it is a very surprisingly solid game. Uh, oh, jeez, we also got oh. the firecrackers. Ow! Oh, now it really is Bomberman. Kind of, yeah. Uh, the good thing is you can take out the the uh, spawners that the uh, firecrackers can pop out of. You just gotta be very careful with the timing. Yeah. Oh. Okay. If they happen to explode next to a TNT crate, can they detonate the TNT? I believe they can. And thus you. <laughs> yeah. And thus you. No. And thus you. You were the exploding Nene baby of legend. That's an incredibly more volatile version of the regular cringe baby. But anywho, all right, there, 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 there. no more firecracker Franks to be dealing with. Now we can just push this on right to the exit. And I and I assume that's Pac Ping Harbor's big gimmick is lots and lots of explosives. Uh, plenty of explosives and uh, fireworks, and as well as um. A certain, you know, brave and monstrous fella that'll be stalking these here peers uh, at some point or other. Oh dear. All right. Well, while we contend with that, uh, I will say that uh, James, uh, how was your day today? My day was relatively okay. I mean, we did go through a uh, 
uh, uh, I always keep thinking, I always keep thinking I'm gonna call them Nindies, but then I remember, no, wait, they changed the name to Indie World, and I'm just thinking to myself, that doesn't have quite as nice of a ring to it. Yeah, they had the perfect marketable, marketable name, and then they just, they turned their backs on it like they did to voice acting coaching. I mean, it makes it clear that this is what, this is Nintendo's take on, you know, showcasing Indies, where, where it's like, Indie World sounds so, sounds so generic by comparison. They've turned their backs on originality much as they have turned their backs on voice acting coaching for those narrators. <laughs> Again, I, th I really just think that they're primarily there to actually handle PR and whatnot. Like, they're not really there to really sell the product through their own, you know, narrations. And, then, and that, is, that is entirely fair, because, I mean, ooh, that is entirely fair. I mean, to be fair, uh, to be fair, that is entirely fair because... Uh, because it would make sense, because that would it would not have been the first time that uh, Nintendo has ever uh, hired somebody else to. Uh... Actually, I think that could have worked. Because if a TNT blows up to another TNT, wouldn't they both detonate? Yeah, they, they would. All right, so yeah, we'll just push this one all the way down. Woo! Woo! Oh, that should have detonated. According with death, are we? There we go. I mean, that is Miss. Why do you think Miss Pac-Man's in the situation she's in right now? She's on a mission, but um, but yeah, no, just in general, just uh, it, to finish. And then the... App Games took advantage of that dedication. Yeah, sorry to finish the statement that I just cannot seem to get my head around because I'm trying to watch this game at the same time. Is that yes? As we saw with Mario 64, it would not be the first time that Nintendo's ever hired somebody else to say, "Hey, just quick Ooh. double duty. Do you mind uh recording these quick little lines of dialogue on your lunch break?" Oh, hello. Oh it's yeah, mind the goat, mind the ghost monsters that actually have barrel. You know, they're holding on to barrels, and I mean, it might not seem like much now, but that'll come into play a little later on in the Neo world. Okay, mm -hmm. well, more on that. Uh, Hype, did you enjoy the Nindi the indie world showcase? That was all right. I mean, there were a few things I thought were pretty cute. Um, overall, I can't think of anything that like fully gripped me. The only two things that I have like a genuine reaction to were one, the existence of OCD the game. And yes, yeah. And second off, just further confirmation that Silk Song is indeed just an urban myth. I, yeah, I didn't even, I, they, it got to the point where they they didn't even bother showing anything of it any, oh, any more of it. Like, it was just cut and dry. We don't know where it is. Even Nintendo's like, we don't even know. They're not returning our calls anymore. Exactly. It's like the Loch Ness Monster or the Queen of England. I'm sorry to do this to you, Sue. Munch. Um, that's all. That is one of those things where, like, if you really don't, if you really don't pay attention to the fine details, you'll never, never realize that um, that uh, the orange ghost in question is not the, the dumbass Clyde we all know and love, but rather Sue from yeah. the arcade Miss Pac-Man. Even though I think, also for some reason, it's reasons... kind of silly that you know they don't continue the pur like the purple design they gave Sue later on. Yeah, also, for some reason, this entire area loaded again behind us with all the blocks intact. We are going backwards huh. now. Huh, well, son of a bitch. Yeah, I was like, I was like, I was like why, did the, why did all the breakable blocks reappear? I thought we destroyed them all. I mean, I guess it would explain a lot, considering you can only see so much through this camera angle. So it makes it easier to deload uh, unnecessary assets. Yeah, that's fair. There is more Actually, to the lower right. Yeah, let me see if there's anything else I can do <gasps> here before. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, that's There's perfect. That. No, this is easy. You just move that push-pull block now that the gate's down. We just push that one to the right and down below, and then we can, uh... Get ourselves a couple of freebies. I wonder what the gold one does. Uh, gold hearts extend your health. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, so just head to the right, and then... Whoop. I know uh, we encountered one earlier back in uh, Cleopatra, and I mean, you know, it's it's honestly so soon in the game, it's actually kind of funny. Because hmm. I think like how you can so easily get a fresh pair of golden underpants in Battle for Bikini Bottom, like the moment you hit uh, the Bikini Bottom up. Oh yeah, like before you even hit level one. Important to do. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know if I'd already asked, but uh, so you mentioned that you control with the D-pad. Is everything on a true grid, or can you like make diagonal like movement and stuff if need be? It's all uh, grid based. Okay. Right, so no we... real true sportsmanship like that. Time to take ah. care of these barrel holders. <gasps> Blinky and Sue, I'm coming for you! He wasn't getting away that time. For me, uh, the games I enjoyed I uh, were... Um, I was telling James earlier, I enjoyed I enjoyed the premise behind Goodbye World. I'm curious... That was alright. 
I'm curious what the gameplay of it's gonna feel like when you're like you know actually testing out the game that those two like those two indie developers are trying to make um, and um, then uh, what was uh, the one that was essentially just like a slice of life anime turned into a video game uh, slice of life anime uh, the one with the boy and the girl oh oh, oh uh, spa uh, space of uh, I, I know what you're talking about I know what you're talking about um, hey I'm looking up the title here I, I know exactly which one you're talking about um uh don't tell me don't tell me i'm trying already i'm trying space for the unbound okay that's the one that that's the one where we got to hear the indie the indie world showcase narrators talk as though they have never had a romantic interaction with another human being ever probably should be mentioned on the side ladies and gentlemen that logan is a professional actor so he knows what he's i am talking about <laughs> well, i'm too waking up Okay, I am not a professional actor. The closest thing to a professional. You're more of a professional than I am. That's for that's for sure. Yeah, that's also true. I was like the closest to a profession I have. It, it's just the fact of like, okay, okay. How about this? Uh, I help. I do community service with um, and I help out my my brother and my ne niece and nephew. Um, and I'm and I'll be honest. And with that experience, to turn this around on his head, be mean again. Haha. <laughs> with that experience of doing community service stuff. I've heard kindergartners and third graders speak with more emotion in their voice than these Indie World Showcase narrators. So, when you're sitting there, like, going, like, oh, this could be romantic, and the, her response is, I know, isn't it such a grand romantic outing between the two of us? I'm like, hello, I am not a plant by the police. Please, tell me more about your lucrative business deal, honey. <laughs> it's like, it just doesn't... It it sounds very, very forced and stiff. You know, that sounds like... The way you phrase that, that sounds like it could be its own indie game. Like, a life sim where you're pretending to date the son of this mafioso just so you oh. could try to find incriminating evidence to put his dad behind bars. Actually, yeah, I would be... You know what that does? I, I would play a game like that. I, would, I actually would be up for, up for a game like that. But Call the problem is... is Oh, sorry, but the problem is, is that you went too undercover because you found out that the love was not a plant; it was real. Oh yeah, you actually start to call it uh, something like love under wraps or something like that. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I, I want to say that the uh, the other there's another key I'm looking for that I do need to backtrack. You know what? Actually, no. Yeah, there's I like remember. a there's like a red key you're looking for. Also, uh. Because we passed by one earlier. Uh, okay, you know, never mind. I know what I mean. I, don't worry, I'm I'm well on track. Okay, I was gonna say because I noticed something earlier. Uh, the little fireworks. Is there any incentive to actually detonate the fireworks? Nope, just points. Oh, okay. Also, yeah, I got all the fruit. Now I just need to get get me my last couple of uh, pack dots. Also, you're points. doing a lot of blinking. Or you were actually okay. We're okay now. Uh, before I do that... Let's get the gold goodie and get out of here. Uh, the, the whole time I'm watching, it's like, man, if only we could pack jump. Yeah. That would be nice, but uh, the only means. only means of jump we have in this game are through uh, power pellets. Or through the, excuse me, the, the power pellets. Pad the, the popper pads. Yeah, yeah, they're looking at the little bounce pads. Fair enough. Such as this. Boing! Ah! Kaboom! Actually, wait, am I missing something else? No, 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 I, th no, I think you're fine. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise, your pack dot radar would be turn it going off the going on the fritz. That's a good point. Uh, and I just gotta remember where. Okay, yeah, I, I was on track. A nose. You gave me a frightening. The bow just lights on fire. <laughs> that was. You know, it's like living in an home. area where such fireworks, oh. such fireworks and sparklers are technically illegal, but people start still do that and still um, set them oh off anyway. Oh my gosh, and it gets insane, and it's like, because first used to be just like, oh, let's just, we'll just buy a slightly louder firecracker than normal, just to really tick off the neighbors. Then, straight up, one year, oh, this time we're going to set up fireworks in the street like we're supposed to safely, but then the uncle is, oh, oh. But then the oh. uncle is just going to get drunk and start... Not my uncle. This is one of our neighbor's uncles. This was like years ago. Mm -hmm. I don't even, I'm not even at that address anymore. But straight up, one of the uncles at that neighbor's got drunk and started doing wheelies in his motorcycle through the fireworks. Wow. Really? That are on the ground. With uh, with, a fr with, with his freaking nephew on the backseat of the, of the motorcycle. Oh my God. It was like... 
I mean, like, the problem is that, like, they stopped by the time we told them to, so it's not like we could call, you know, child endangerment and, you know, get an actual thing going, but... But anyway, then it got so bad, because now they're actually buying the mortar fireworks, the kind that, you know, you use at theme parks and over lakes to do in a residential area. You know what, honey? That gives me a good idea. Well, let's use one of them to announce our baby's gender. I was about to say, Hype, if you're about to do another gender reveal nonsense thing, it's... What do you mean another? When have I done one before? I feel like we made mean, a joke about that. Well, well, we, okay, we, an, an, I, we definitely joked about it uh, like behind the, behind the camera. I don't, I don't think sorry. we've ever brought... Or, you know, I feel like there has to have been at least one point where we did, but I'm not going to do all that well, right now. Well, I'll say, and if not that, I'm so sorry. When I, when I said another thing, that wasn't meaning specifically to your contributions to that. Your oh, contributions okay. to that. But more so just the fact like, everyone's making jokes. Simpsons did a joke. Honestly, a pretty decent joke, though. Gender reveal napalms. And now we play on the year of the pack. Oh, that's my. Uh, that's, oh, whoa. Meanwhile, she's collecting the gems for me. <laughs> See, that's all you need, indie world developer narrators. Just uh, you just have to put a little effort in it. <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay, real talk aside, uh, my fa honestly, my favorite parts of the indie world showcase are when they actually interview the developers themselves because it always seems like they have a lot. They always they always seem like they either you know because you can tell that they're either, they're either really caring about their product or they just like have fun with it, such as with the uh, one another crab's shell or another crab's trash, one crab's shell or one crab's trash. That game we saw last year. I almost forgot that was a thing actually. Yeah, yeah. it was like a, there it was like they're a uh, Dark Souls-esque game, and then there was the, um, and then the, in this one there was the Surely You Jest game. Um, I think the one I like as far as like the gags with the developers was, uh, it was the it was the one with the the guys that were trying to get into like the theater tournament. Yeah, Shirley they opened Jest. up the. Okay, that's it. I love how they opened it up with like a little puppet show, and they were like, "Oh wait, we're on." They just scrabbles to get rid of it. <laughs> And then they, and then at the very end, even over the Nintendo, like uh, that was the first time I've actually seen that. I, that was the first time I've ever seen that done, actually, in a Nintendo Switch trailer. Where right at the very end, when um, are they gonna make us do something risky here, James? Uh, I believe so. But uh, before I do that, let me say... check my other options. Okay. Yeah, oh yeah, this. no, you do. Okay, so yeah, okay, I was about to ask the question, but yeah, you can oh. land on TNT crates, but you got. That's be a very quick. lenient timer uh, on it, actually. Thankfully, it is very lenient. Oh, there's another life up there. You missed. I think that's just just more health, which I'm pretty sure I'm filled filled up with. Yeah, I think a heart is just health. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Okay, because that kept appearing with the num. Since the number kept appearing alongside, I kept thinking that all this time that was actually increasing the amount. But yeah, I see what you gotta do. You gotta push that lower the lower TNT block down, and then push the one on the right. Oh, I feel like I'm probably missing something while doing this, but I'm not going to dwell on that right now. No, I think you got it. Uh, yeah, because I would go down and... Yeah, it's just health. And you got that. Okay, good. We're, this place is more or less cleared up. Phew. This is, it's starting to become a little bit more puzzle platformy. I mean, that's pretty much the the big... Uh, what's the word? Uh, push and pull this game has. That's fair. Otherwise, it's primarily just the usual pack oh, my <laughs> shenanigans with a dragon. Frickin' right. Road we just came rush. out of the road right there. You, you, we need to get that man's license. Uh, that's oh dear. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Are. Thank you. Oh. You all right? Ow. Actually, no uh, way. It's more like oh. <laughs> oh. I and I oh you know, and I see how this works. You push that block that way. You can push it while out while also not uh, losing it. Although, what does that do? Hang on. Oh, you know what? No, I see what you gotta do. I see what you gotta do here. Uh, don't push that TNT block. Uh, get Go back down like you were. Uh, and what you're gonna do is um, push him up, then push him to the... Yeah, yeah, no, no, this can work, this can work. Push him, yeah, push him up, push him to the left. No, no, the other way. Actually, no, 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 never mind. No, that's fine. Okay, I saw a different way, but that way actually was a much more direct path. Yeah. But there's gotta be a few oh. up to the upper left, right? Uh, I think that's just the way back. But I mean, I, I probably no, there have, is a strawberry. That anyway. Yeah, there's a strawberry over there. Uh, oh, wait. oh, I see, I see. Hit the hit the hit the hit the hit the respawn token, and you gotta just push that one down. Push push detonate this one on the right. Just get rid of it, and then and then yeah, this guy can then move to the left. Oh, we gotta be swift. One way. Oh. 
Okay. I get the feeling I was probably going to need to try that again anyway. That's fine. We got the checkpoint right before. I mean, it's a good thing that we, we, you know, we're already more than halfway done with the, with the proper portion of the game, so I mean, it's not like we've, we're losing too much time. It'll hopefully. be fine. Although, hang on, how are we supposed to rotate this sucker around? Hmm. Oh, wait, I see what you gotta do. Yeah. Wait. Oops. Oh, and that's why its timer is so lenient, too. Y you messed it up. No, I got this. Oh, you know what? Yeah, okay, I'm seeing it again. Yeah, you'll push that one down into the... I'm... I, I gotta... Oh, ye of little faith. I gotta stop thinking oh, so narrowly. Oh, ye Uh-oh. No. <laughs> no escape. <laughs> Damn. You got get that. Okay, there you go. Okay, I almost thought that was floating above you. And it looks like that was just an also, alternate... Oh, crap, I missed, the cher I missed the cherry. There's a cherry? Yeah, it always starts with a cherry. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, let's see how far we can backtrack. I'm pretty sure we can backtrack all the way to the beginning from this point, but I'm just trying to think, where did I miss the Whoa. cherry? Oh, uh, we can't go back any further. Oops. Hey! Redo! Oh, oh, no. A few minutes later. Oh! Wait, I know what? what I did wrong. I know what I did wrong. Oh, I see, because you want to go down. That's right. That's how it was supposed to be done. <laughs> Whoops! No, no worries. We figured it out, so... Bing, bing. Nice. But, um, it's just the fact now we just that... Gotta reset. Now we just gotta reset them and, uh, do things again from before. So, uh, we'll be back. Okay. A little longer than a few minutes later. To basically come clean and just say it like it is. Uh, Spider-Verse has definitely popularized this whole animating on thirds or whatever we're referring to it as. Uh, yeah, where yeah. things have kind of a more, like... Uh, actiony almost like but but it, it lends itself to more exaggeration without having to worry about having everything be a smooth transition right yeah. it's it's more stop motion -y if i had to like make a comparison but i just i just enjoy it i like how it turns out oh well, it's fine I, I was just making a comparison and and like i said it, it's definitely like i'll say this much like it definitely looks from both premise and animation it looks like a more interesting film than the last Puss in boots movie which is sad. I mean, I, this is funny considering I thought the the actual Puss in Boots movie we got uh, like years ago was fine. I, it was not bad. It was. Uh... Well, I mean, like I, I'm sure it's fine. I'm just saying that this one seems more interesting for me. Well, That's like, fair. well, there's definitely more. Uh, although, uh, I had to put it. I guess it's one of the things where it's like I don't think Puss in Boots really needed an origin story for me. Like. Especially because I mean, it still doesn't make sense to me how he would go from being such a nice guy to, sure, I will kill this ogre and donkey for money as a mercenary. Maybe because, you know, they were still under the pretense that ogres were still, you know, monsters. I guess well, I'm true. guessing he also just ne really needed the money because, like, he even mentioned that himself in the film. Like, when Trick caught him, he was talking about, like, oh, please, my mother is sick. My father lives off the garbage. I have a little of brothers. All right, here we go. This is going to be a bit of a weird part because now we got the fire-breathing monstrosity I was talking about Whoa. earlier. Oh boy. Okay, but I see what you got to do. You just got to lure him, lure him, and then blow up that wall. Where'd it go? Uh oh. And when you're oh. all when you're all done with him, munch him. Yeah, eat him. Well, like that just seems very ungrateful. Yeah, eat him like the snack he is. But yeah, what else? And then um, but yeah. So this one, James, looks like the whole premise is about like. Puss in Boots has been a very confident uh, warrior for justice because he is a cat. Reckless, too. Yep, because he has nine lives. But then watch what happens when he starts losing them all. Right, and he's down to his last life. It's basically... I don't know who made this joke, but it's like... It's like... Imagine Logan, but you can actually take your kids to it. <laughs> <laughs> you raise a good point. Wow. Jesus. I'm up for that. Also, if I'm curious, he's not talking about me. He's talking about someone else. I am not a danger. He talked about kids. the movie called Logan. But yeah, the, the, the Wolverine movie that everyone says is the best Wolverine movie, even though I haven't. I've seen I, bits. I've not seen the whole thing. I. I mean, I'm sure the characterization is good, but I mean, I just. I. I don't know. Like, the, I, I, there's got to be other movies where I feel like I just have enjoyed Hugh Jackman as Wolverine a little bit more. He's, he. He. He really does enjoy the role. I want to say. Well, of course. I mean, like, he even outright said, you know, granted this was before Deadpool 3 became a right. thing. He outright said that he was willing to come back as Wolverine if the character was ever brought to the MCU. And, uh... I mean, now it looks like now he is. Yep, and at the behest of his good friend Ryan. <laughs> mm -hmm. so, yeah, sure and, I, and I just love how there's a part of me 
I get that there are some people that are annoyed by it. There's a part of me that loves how coy they are being all like, Okay, so you saw the ending of Logan. You're probably wondering canonically, how does this work? Well, there's a good explanation for that, pop music. <laughs> I mean... All it takes to save face is a little pop music. I mean, okay, I mean, okay, just to spoil a little bit. It also helps, given how we know Deadpool 2 ends, that he has every right in which way to be able to pull this off somehow. Well, it's just Deadpool in general. This is the kind of thing that he's not uh, hes not know, foreign James. to. And to think that we reset over a cherry. Yeah, in retrospect, I kind of did that dumb dumb shit to myself. Oops. Also, oh no, what the heck is Clyde or Sue doing? Sue is littering, littering the whole place with gunpowder. Good powder. Ah, uh, and that's why we need to know. Oh, this actually can be pretty complex if we're not careful. Yeah, it could very much end in my do in my death if I don't do this correctly. Okay, come on. Wait, sometimes they do and sometimes they don't deposit gunpowder everywhere? I guess so. I don't know what that's all about. I'm guessing it's like they can only deposit so much, because it's like, you know, it's kind of like the whole, like, you can't have, like, a permanent set of foot trails in snow. They have to fade away after a while. Yeah, I guess. That fair. is true. All right, so there we go, checkpoint. Nice. We're on. Now we got ourselves a little bit of a button, button centric. Uh, I would not right say labyrinth, but uh, let's just say you gotta be a little careful about your next choice of um, button pressing. Can TNT kill ghosts? How could you kill what's already dead? Aww. Yeah. I mean, great to whether they're actually dead or alive is up for debate because you know they're not actual ghosts. They're just they're, they're monsters that take the shape of ghosts and can fly like them. I want to say that's how that started. Wait, it's on a timer. Yes. Man. Uh. Okay. Well, at this point, then yeah, there's no point in trying to work on all these buttons until we can find uh, a way to you know make them all open. What have you done? Hello. Oh, <laughs> Just says so Mac. I call the Bolshevik. Just don't hit the reset looking one. Good, looking good, Miss Pack. Smack. Oh, that's why they're set to a timer. Whoa. Well Woohoo. Oh, okay. Thank goodness. I thought we were like being. Uh, I thought we were being airdropped very swiftly out of the level. <laughs> Straight into the water. <laughs> Woo! Also, clever, clever, uh, clever uh, trick they do to uh, simulate the feet and the look of, sh of shimmering, reflecting water. Oh mm. yeah, you gotta oh, like, oh, oh. you gotta like a good, uh, ow, you gotta like a good, um, like little <sighs> trick of the eye, a little, a really cool like way to like show that off in uh, bananas. I was about to say you pass bananas. Oh no! I mean, I'm not gonna be able to get. I, I can't get all the fruit as it stands, so why bother? Oh. Okay, well, this one we can get, and then now we can, uh... Okay, I was just saying fine. that, because it looked like you have more than enough time to get that banana before it closed. But I see, each one, they don't all have to be pushed at one... Oh! What? Ooh! Yowzers! Uh, okay. Okay, that's a new one. But yeah, unfortunately, that sets us back, because, yeah, okay, I, I am starting to see how this works, is each button, as you push it, unlocks the next one, so we gotta just find our way all the way to the end. And the next one. And the next one. I know. And the next one, yeah, screw it, I'll just grab it now, since you guys have been pestering me about it. Yeah. Well, I only brought it up once, what you talking yeah. about? Yes, I, and yes, I know that it doesn't really matter given, uh, I'll just take a hit. I know that it doesn't really matter all that much because we can't 100% this, uh, percent this level, but I like bananas. Oh, we missed it. I think, was no. that the one I need to no, press? No, it was the switch to the left of that switch. Oh, no, wait, no, the, huh. And then, okay, and then. I think it's the switch on the left. So we need to hit this one, then go to the left. Or should I, will this button be open now? Or, oh, okay. Hit this one, go all the way to the left. And there, in between those two boxes. All the way. And then hit this one, and now the one that leads to the exit will be opened. It is super convenient that the door behind you automatically opens up when you hit it. Oh my gosh, there we Ooh. go. Literally knocking on death's door right there. Happy New Year! Happy New Year, sir. I guess depending on when I post this, this might as well be a New Year's treat. Well, we'll have to oh. wait and see. Yay. <laughs> He's like, you, you, you're done. You're done. Have, have Happy birthday. Wamp, wamp. It's gotta be someone's birthday when this video goes up. 
So happy. probably not this Pac Man's, that's for sure. So happy birthday. Happy birthday to whoever's birthday it is today. Miss Pac-Man, we saw. On that note, would you would you all like to take a nice little boat trip across the uh, across the harbor? Oh, I don't boy. know. I want to see what insanity ensues. When this we... one, I'll admit, is probably the most you know doable of the mini games that they present to you because you're essentially on a you're going on a boat ride packed with torpedoes. This definitely looks a lot more manageable than the dog race, than the the, the, the bobcat race. Ma yep. Saber tooth tiger race. Oh, look at those cute little doodles of. Is that Blinky wielding a knife? Yes. I think it's supposed to be a sword. It's it's a sword or a knife, but if you get too close to those ghosts, they will jump in right at you. I just. Yeah, I'm sure it's supposed to be a sword, but like. Because of the proportions, it really does just look like the freaking meme of them, of like that little Kirby plush holding the knife. Yeah, pretty much. That's what I see, but with Blinky, just. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! I, just... I like how you can just make it miss, like he jumps off, it's like, yeah! Oh, I can't swim. I just love how. Wait, what? Okay, I, I, but for me, I love just how swiftly and silently they just, like, they did not think that plan through. There's no, like, there's no sound of them struggling while they're in the water. It's just a, like, yeah! Just and, and they sink like a rock. Wait. And they sink, they sink like a rock. Ow. Okay, it's getting a little bit. Okay, it's getting a little bit crazy. Okay, okay, all right. It's getting a little, little tight around here. Blinky, I'm sitting lock is there. We're literally in the open harbor. Blinky, I just down. love just the whole like yeah as they hop off. I love the freaking claymation moon we have in the lower. Oh. Oh. Try again. Do we have to try that again? Yes. No checkpoints in mini games. Well, Ooh. I do like the claymation moon in the lower left. Said Logan to himself. How's that claymation? I think that's a 2D image. Oh, I'm just saying, it, it looks claymation to me because of how it's rippling in the water. It just looks like a lump of clay that just kind of squishing and falling. And... I, could, I mean, I'm, yeah, I could believe that. It's saying skull monkeys. <laughs> now imagine that for a moment. A Pac-Man game made in the style of claymation. I feel like that should have been something that's made by now. Like, if not a full-on game, then just like a full-on something with Pac-Man as claymation. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this, I mean... If Kirby can do it, why not Pac-Man? Oh, oh. I guess you know what, now that I think about it, since those ghosts have knives, I guess that would explain how why I'm losing so much health whenever I get too close. They are saying, screw the bumping into her, screw the smacking of her on the back, get the knives. Smacking of her on the back, that, that has a different connotation. Yes, you're looking nah, good. Boys, you're... we're going pack hunting. And yes, I, you're right. I, I was trying to avoid it, but yes, the you look good, sailor. Some smack. smack. Yeah. Hey, there, smack. smack. Hey, you doing there, some smack. Nice weather, ain't it? Smack. Yeah, I got it. Nice weather, ain't it? Nice weather, the day, and it smack. Hey, did he tell you to do the smack? Oh, good health. You have gore on your smack! And then finally it's just... Yeah. It's back! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> they get less and less out as they're trying to flail at you. Can you shoot in all directions or just a forward? Uh, forward. Okay. Yeah. Well, if nothing else, you're getting a nice dosing of lives. Yes, you uh, are. I'm just missing five more dots, and I should be good to go. Oh, you're not allowed nice. to leave until oh, you... Oh, I'm missing one, but wait, wait, I'm wait. Gonna say, please tell I... me there's another boat. I would say, is it one of those things where you're not allowed to leave until you get... I, another I think this is just the challenge run at the very end. I don't think there's any more boats. God damn it! God! They <laughs> could have given me at least one more dot! Well, I guess I'm not going into this completely empty-handed. Thank you, God! <laughs> just... Ah, levitated into the abyss. Jeez. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is it okay? You got a new multiplayer map? Good I'll, enough, I guess. I'm gonna like check. I said, you got all the fruits. Um, I guess that that's something that I don't think we ever brought up. Whenever you're going for all the stars, do you have to get all of them in one run? No. Okay. You, can, uh, you can get them separate if you want to. Mm -hmm. 
That would be honestly mean if they did make you uh, go get all, every single one and you accumulate it, kind of like the uh, medals in uh, Yoshi's Island. Yeah. Oh, crackle Pop, Rice Krispies. Oh. The Goldfish. No, Rice Krispies. Anyway. Now then, back to the party! Yep, with that, I'm gonna quickly grab that lasagna. Be right back. Alrighty. Meanwhile, I'm gonna just munch on this dragon's hide. He's likely gonna come back, because I actually do need him for this next bet. Mm. At least they're that generous to, uh, if, if, if he's required for a puzzle, they'll pop him right back up. That's good. Whoops. And then I can just keep munching on it. Oh, I guess they don't give me, give me any more points. One munch is enough, said the developers. <laughs> you may munch it once. <laughs> once. I said what? Do I look like an all you can eat buffet to you with the refills? Uh, yeah. Woman, you repulse me in ways that I cannot describe. Woman, you are weird! <laughs> it's like, you repulse me in ways I cannot say in an E rated game. Oh, for fuck's sake, would you get over here, dragon? <laughs> that is how much you are repulse me. There we go, jeez. I also didn't even notice until now, like, the, the actual, all that gunpowder does disappear after a little while. Yeah, yeah, it's like I said, like, it, it probably would be too much for the PS1 to handle for it to be, like, permanently all around. I wonder if it'd be any better on Dreamcast, because it has been a hot minute since I actually played that version. I think you also might need to... Oh, you don't, oh, you got rid of the all of the bigger power pellets, so you couldn't get rid of those ghosts even if you wanted to. Oh, thank goodness. Well, I mean, that's not what I wasn't even worrying about the ghosts. I was just worrying about all the other pathways, which you know, all I was missing was another extra life, which I was able to get. So it all turned out well in the end. Okay, while, you, now, again. while you do that, I'm gonna grab me an electric strawberry. Nah, did you just get those out of the way? Well, okay. Yeah, no, they're they're thankfully they're not that big of dickheads to uh, just up and uh, 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 make you land straight on the nitro crates. Yeah. Though that red key over there does look awfully tantalizing. In fact, uh, hmm. Dare yeah, I, 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 I get that now. Yeah, there you go. Dare I say it has me fat delight? Yes, yeah. <laughs> delighted. That probably would be a better word, I just couldn't think of a, 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 an alternative. You're fine. But yeah, after this we'll only have one more level left to go, and uh, funnily enough, that is also a uh, holiday-themed holiday uh, level. Right. Oh, wait, there you go. I mean, granted, they also made that incredibly obvious with the very beginning of the game, where they actually showcased where all the levels would take place, in, which, you know, maybe we can consider a early spoiler, but uh, or maybe it's just a hint of things to come. I can't believe that they would spoil things that early in the game. Do people have no decor? I mean, there's some people that, that you know, will go out will, uh... Ghosty, are you okay over there? I'm doing- I'm going home to tell Mama. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, they, they witch block me again, jerks. Oh well, I'll still make the effort in case I actually can get it. I want to say there's at least maybe one level that probably Whoop. gives me both, um, dots and, uh... uh Fruit, even if there's like a witch block in the way, but I don't think that's the case. Well, let me walk you know, wishful thinking. Mm -hmm. Hey, smelly breath over here! You, you, did that bitch just say my, my breath smells? I'll have you know, I brushed my teeth twice. And for the record, I stopped. I've stopped smoking for the past ten years. Though all those rehab lessons really paid off. It's true. I have the nicotine patch and everything. <laughs> and then it just takes one small little sto uh, little joint to r ruin all those ten years of progress. And uh, <sighs> fuck's sake, I'm not tempting that. Wait. <laughs> I, it's not like I have it. <clears throat> Man, these guys are really determined, aren't they? Yeah, they follow they follow a very specific pattern. It's oh, okay, good. There we go. Laugh on laugh on that, you <laughs> Jack. What'd you call me? That's racist. Oh. Oh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. What I do that for? 
He's maybe like, well, there is another spawner right oh, there. Oh, yeah, that is. I mean, yeah, I could use the extra points. For all I know, maybe it won't blow up in my face. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Just for the extra protection. Okay, good. That does shield you. Yep, like Professor Pack said, they does shield you from all other sides. So it is very, very handy. That's good. Also, crap, I just realized... Uh, you know, no. What am I doing? I, I shouldn't even think... I shouldn't even worry too much about it. There was a witch block earlier. I wasn't going to be oh. able to get everything here anyway. Yeah. Again, so long as I do still get everything I possibly can, I should be fine. It's just that there will obviously be those points where I can't get everything because of those goddamn witch blocks. And I don't think this is the kind of game that really warrants backtracking all that well, considering how linear... The, Mostly linear, these levels are otherwise. Yeah, like, honestly, I feel like if you're gonna have, like, maze levels like this, like, any form of backtracking would seem like kind of a weird uh, design design decision. Right. It's just because of how constricted everything is. Yeah. Honestly, the more I think about it, that might be, like, a large chunk as to why, like, in, in the proper Pac-Man World levels, not levels, That's in the proper Pac-Man World games, whenever there are mazes, they're usually relegated to, like, optional side stuff. Well, yep. Mostly stuff you, you can uh, try to do if you manage to get the respective, um, Galaxian uh, tokens. Right. Just, yeah, no, I... Now that we have a repack under our belts, I do wonder if they'll give that treatment to, uh, World 2. Because I definitely think that one deserves it, most especially. I feel like out of the three, it'd probably be the easiest game to give it to. Uh, easiest? I... I wouldn't outright go that far, considering that I'd say the original game was easier, just because it wasn't quite as, um... But for lack of a better word, uh, expansive. Well, I, I would also say easiest in the sense of, like, they have less characters to worry, copyright worries about... That is true. I mean, Miss Pat. Well, the only reference that Miss Pat had in World Two was um, it was just a little portrait you saw at the very beginning. And isn't unless I'm thinking of one of the other games, can't you also unlock the Miss Pac-Man arcade game in the uh, arcade area in the Hub World? Yes, you can, and I believe it costs around 180 tokens, which is a lot. Yeah. So yeah, I feel like it wouldn't be that hard to, like, work around a Pac-Man World 2 if they're afraid of, like, incurring Miss Pac-Man's wrath. Well, I guess I'd have to wonder now, like, if they were to bring back the arcade in Pac-Man World 2 Repack, if that ever is a thing, how far would they go with it? Hmm. Well, I guess... I guess that would be interesting, because it's like... I feel like they probably can't put, like, a whole lot into it since, you know, we just had Museum Plus not that long ago, so it might seem a little bit odd. It would but, seem a little redundant, yeah. But I guess it's also just a matter of, like, would they need to use, like, the exact roster of games that World 2 had in order to fill out theirs? Or do you think they can get away with, like, having lesser or very different uh, games in their arcade? Well, let me think. Um, the original Pac-Man is pretty much, you know, uh, pr pretty much a given since out. The original Pac-Man is a given, given that's, you know, that's a rite of passage. Like, these types of collections usually will have the original Al, uh, the original Pac-Man in the game, just for those that really want that, you know, they really want to experience it that badly, in that given point in time. But, um, there's that. I know there was, uh, Pac-Attack, which, I know the version they had for, uh, the original Pac-Man World 2 is different than the one we got in the museum. Uh, how so? Uh, of course. Uh, it uses a... It uses a later build of the game that was made specifically for the Japan-only Namco Anthology 2, which gave it more, gave it some updated uh, graphics as well as, um... I mean, yeah, that's really about the only real not noteworthy thing about it. Fair enough. Alright. I'm back for a little bit, though. I know there I'm gonna... Go although I know I want to dig into that lasagna. Oh my gosh, she's fast, that dragon. I was gonna yep. dig into that lasagna, so I may have to part ways for a while. Aww. I know. You're I believe in you both, though. You're betraying us for a lasagna? You expect us to do all of Halloween by ourselves? I'm gonna miss Halloween? I mean, that's literally what's gonna happen after I'm done with this level. You know what? That's it. And he just drags the entire thing of lasagna in the room with him. <laughs> I can't do that. Oh my gosh, no. Besides, That'd I can't be miss... Besides, I gotta still help with Christmas. That's true. It's almost that, okay. That well, is a multi. That is a multi-man party there. We are actually, and we are actually almost done. We're like, we're literally just working on. Actually, yeah, we're literally at the oh, end look, of the level. There There's the uh, 
Well, what do you know? Yeah, yeah I, should, the gym. I, was say, I, was I say, should probably grab the gym first before I, like, I go straight to the portal. I was about to say, it actually is possible to beat the level without ga grabbing the gem of wisdom. To that, I can't say. I was Maybe? Say, I was going to say, that wouldn't be very wise at all. But there we go. It would be very unwise. All right, Age complete. Fare thee well. I ascend from this mortal realm not to the land of spooks, but the land of Mariah Carey. They named the lasagna after her? No! <laughs> not the lasagna. The lasagna. The, 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 the Christmas. The, the Santa lasagna. There's a Santa lasagna? Maybe. I'm actually looking that up right now before I leave. <laughs> Santa shaped lasagna. Actually, you know what? Since we're already, like, not just a little under an hour in, we could probably go ahead and call that a session. Because uh, that act, that entire Pac Ping Harbor sequence took longer than I was expecting. That's fair. Son of a bitch. All right, so that all said, ladies and gentlemen, next time we'll see you all for Haunted Halloween. You get off easy this time, lasagna boy. Enjoy your Christmas lasagna. <laughs>